Then we have Venezuela. I think you've seen this movie before. Yeah. Nicolas Maduro survived what he called an assassination attempt. Making a live speech Saturday, a couple of drones went off, exploded nearby. Pick he thought he was an assassin. And th there's the army. <laughs> We're out of here. And they're running at the first sound of the, of the guns. Oh, Come on in, Christian Whiten, former senior advisor to Trump and Bush 43. I've got two questions, Christian. Number one, how much longer can Maduro stay in power? What's the end game, basically? And number two, what should America do? Invade, use the CIA, give them food? What should we do? But deal with Maduro first. What's happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First, with Maduro, you know, I'm afraid there is some durability with this regime. You're seeing the culmination of socialism that began in 1999 when Venezuelans freely elected Hugo Chavez. Maduro is his successor. You now have inflation running at one million percent, people in the streets protesting. It's very hard to time dissent movements, though, so I'm afraid Maduro has, um, you know, potentially some uh, durability still. Uh, it's hard to predict, though. So what should we do? I mean, what, what action, if any, should mm -hmm. America take? You know, I think we're already doing good things. We've switched in the Trump administration from what Obama did. Obama reached out to Chavez, a friendly hand, gave him the brother handshake when they met. Um, and, you know, switching to a, a situation now where Vice President Mike Pence goes down to uh, the Americas repeatedly and puts a spotlight on this regime's misconduct, its oppression, the effect of socialist policies. The Venezuelans didn't like that very much. They called him a poisonous viper. Um, but putting the spotlight on things and, frankly, putting the spotlight on this assassination attempt, I'll go out on a limb and I say there are some pretty strong signs that this was fake. This was actually done by the regime to engender sympathy. Well, should, I mean, look, on the pro program mm. previously, we've said, why don't we have the CIA have a quiet chat with the generals in Venezuela, offer them free passage to Miami if it needs to be, and get that regime out? Would you, would you suggest any kind of intervention like that at all? I think that would be fine. Certainly the uh, uh, Marcos suite in Honolulu is available if we want to park a dictator somewhere. The problem is with this military, it's been really handpicked. It's been completely purged. Again, this is a regime that's been in power since 1999, if you count Chavez before Maduro. And there really aren't that many good actors in it. They would have to be convinced that removing Maduro would somehow make their life better when they really have no other skills or future. So I wouldn't, uh, I'd certainly welcome an attempt to do that, but ultimately it will have to come down. I think more to people power uh, and the Venezuelans' ability to throw this off. And, you know, this is an important economy in the sure. Americas. It's not unimportant to the United States, but our focus really has to be on, on I think, more well, serious security threats. Well, well, last one. Look, it's a humanitarian crisis, mm -hmm. and they're on our doorstep. Should we just send them food? You know, this is a country that's awash in oil. It has the, the most significant oil reserves in South America. Really, if they just, so their um, uh, you know, currency is in the toilet, they have serious problems. But if they just essentially resume a free market of some sorts, then they will get um, you know, all of the uh, material needs met. So uh, I would say just keep up the political pressure. Um, certainly, you should look for factions in any regime that's causing problems for the United States. I hope that it goes down. And if we keep the pressure up, I think eventually the Venezuelan Venezuelan people will push it aside. Certainly many of them are already trying. Oh, well, all right. Um, Christian, all right. Okay, okay. Rather a soft response. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You know what's really what? galling, though, is that a country where so many people are eating out of garbage cans or trying to find food wherever they can, and yet they have the money to put on this huge military parade. It yeah, sounds. really. It's just yeah. so Are we, are we just going to sit there and watch them fade, right. watch they're, people they're, die? They're, just, oh, they're just pathetic down there. Maduro even admitted the socialist model is broken. So that last Yeah, week. wow. Maybe I'm taking a too hard a line. No, you're not. No. We're dying. Go for it.